Hello there, lovely sword people. Stefan and Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. Today, to ask the question, what is the difference between a rotella and a medieval heater shield? Well, the one is round and the other one's not. So, there you have it, folks. We see you in the next video. Remember to like, share and subscribe and ciao. Okay, wait, let's talk a bit about more the details. Of course, both are strap shields. So these are imbracciatura and this, these are just straps. Okay, fine. Both were used in the medieval times where you find round, round shields, small shields, uh, big shields in all different kinds of sizes and shapes. Fine. Both can be used in a variety of ways and together with the sword and other weapons as well. So while you find the rotella with the sword, you find it also with the partisan or you could call it the spear as well. Nice. So what's the main difference? The main difference actually, besides maybe the heater shield can be, uh, can be used in a couple of ways. So you could configure the straps in a lot of ways, which then again Morozzo tells us for the Rotella and uh, Partisan that you could reconfigure your Imbracciaturas as well to, um, to better hold the, uh, the spear two-handed if you still want to hold the shield. The big difference is for the one we have historical sources on how to use them and for the other one not. We have some imagery but no fighting books. You got some Butler fighting books, but I would argue fighting with a medium-sized shield, a Rotala or a Hita shield, is quite a bit different to actually fighting with a center grip shield, a small buckler. Okay, so my suggestion would be if you want to reconstruct fighting a medieval fighting style like with a heater shield or maybe even with bigger shields like a kite shield or whatsoever, have a, at least a look at the Bolognese sources, especially Morazzo, Mancellino, etc. And look how they use their shields. The Rotella is actually a shield or a, a companion weapon that is used seldomly. You find it all over Renaissance Italy. You even see it way bigger and with the rapier again as well. So we actually have some material on how to use bigger shields as well. We should just learn to use it and then how it applies to more older forms of shields. So our experiment for today is we will fight, we will have a little fence with one with the heater shield, one with the rotella. Then we switch and we'll give you some feedback on how they feel different, if it, does, if it does feel like any change at all. So just to be clear, this is playful. I would consider this light sparring. And you got me with the rotella on the left and Stefan with the heater shield on the right. I'm trying to work on Stefan's shield side to open him up on the left, on the sword side. So here I hit with a reverso to the head. What makes sword and shield such a great weapon combination is that you can hit and defend at the same time. Going playful is great because it lets you explore new weapon combination and polish your techniques. But you have to be careful that your hits are actually martially valid. Having the extra defensive implement makes cutting to the legs and thrusting or cutting around the opponent's blade a lot more viable and you need to make good use of it to get around the defense of your opponent. Hooking into the opponent's shield with your pommel to draw it open is actually a technique Morozzo describes in his text. Here I'll land a nice little draw cut that, let's be honest, wouldn't be too dangerous to my opponent if he wears any clothes at all. I really like combat with the medium-sized shield as footwork is still very important. It's really hard to judge from the outside though, because these shields are obscuring a lot of the view you could have from the outside. You'll usually see me landing one of three types of hits, either to the legs or to the hands or around the shield to the head. 
Well, I'll miss the last opportunity right here. I get nicely slapped with a flat onto my head. Okay, so that was the first part. Now let's change the shields and let's have a look how everything changes. Obviously, there's still a shield in the way of all my cuts and thrusts from the right above. But I try to work around just like in the previous example and try to strike to Stefan's head which he quite nicely defends. But then he strikes to my legs while covering the head with the shield so his arms open. Note that quite a few of my attacks aren't actually supposed to hit Stefan but they are used as provocations. That is making a move in a predictable manner so I can exploit the situation. This could be attacking the blade to open up a new line for real attack or even a feint to make him defend an opening to strike to another or feinting in a way that he actually strikes because he notices it's a feint so I get to defend and counter right afterwards. This piece is just a really nice example of Bolognese footwork. It's the so-called cambiare de piedi, the changing step. While you pull your front leg behind to cover it from a blow to the leg, you immediately extend to the other side to get right back in there. Yeah, so still attacking the legs committedly is a dangerous action, but here Stefan makes up for it while landing a really nice punta reversa, a thrust around my blade. So the last few exchanges of these bouts are pretty short. Here we land a double hit, while Stefan lands with the flat on my shoulder there's now the false edge to my neck, so an unpleasant situation for us both. He makes up for it though by landing a nice reverse redoppio to my hand. And there here comes the last exchange which is just a thrust of myself covering his blade to his flank. Okay, so what's our conclusion Stefan? What felt as the biggest difference for you? Uh, basically the biggest difference is not necessarily in uh, the shape of the shield. In this case a little bit in the weight because they are different <laughs> shields. Because those are different shields. Basically uh, fighting wise there was barely any difference depending on how you grip the heater shield of course. But you could also adapt these grips on the other shield anyway. Yeah I tried to play around with the grips as you might have seen, and basically they are shields. They almost feel like the same. The same principles apply. This one's a bit, little bit lighter because it's a, it's a training implement. This one is actually made of wood. Rotella were made out of steel. They were quite a bit heavier. They could ma be made out of wood as, as well. So they're varying. Their shields are varying. Their shields, God damn it! <laughs> so it's probably it makes more difference if you have a shield or if you don't have a shield, of course, because uh, defending your openings and attacking at the same time gets so much easier if you have a nice defensive implement. But that's basically it. So there you have it, folks. It was no difference after all. This one's round, this one's not. We see you in the next one and ciao.